All right, hello everybody. It's me, Clock, and we're playing the final game in the Strange Man series, The Hanged Man. Let's get right into it. Oh, let's move my mouse. Uh, we're gonna do partial voice acting just because the full voice acting. I, I like to do it myself. Let's just say that. Play with partial. Yeah, we're good with we're good with that. Also, just their mic quality, not the best we saw from the Sandman. If you haven't watched, if you haven't watched the Crooked Man, the Sandman, and finally the uh, the Boogeyman, definitely check them out. They're not necessary to watch, but they are definitely really good games, and they are all connected. Characters show up from the prior games, so it's just kind of cool to know who people are, who you're seeing, who's talking. So what do we got here? Oh, we're, okay. Right into the game. So we're playing some guy walking in the snow. He's living in Canada. It's someone's house. You can't go inside. Well, where am I supposed to go? The fishing shop? I'm going to go ice fishing? God. Hello, sir. Come to buy something. We close at eight, so make it quick. Fishing supplies. Fishing where? Did I actually come here to buy something? Old style fishing rods. Thinking of buying one? You've got a good eye. Those are old school, but still pretty popular. You go fishing often. <laughs> what? What? Hey! What do you think you're doing? Manager, I need some help here. Excuse me? Why did I do that? Uh, what's your name, kid? I said, what's your name? Grr. What kind of brat just starts stomping on merchandise? Yeah, who does that? Hmm. <clears throat> Enough, kid. Give me your name and address. If you're gonna stay quiet, I'll let the cops deal with you. Is this your guardian's number? Not too far from here. Alright, let's ring him up. Who says grr? Someone who's a little kinky. <laughs> Will. So you're David, right? Oh, oh, that was David talking? That's David? Wait, that's David already? <laughs> this is why you gotta watch the other games, chat, okay? So you're David, right? You're this kid's guardian? Cousin, I'm sorry about what he did to the merchandise. At least someone is, and the attitude on this guy. He won't even apologize. Won't even give his name. I'm sorry, I'll reimburse you, so please just... Well, uh, fine. But you better let his parents know about this. I have a feeling that I don't have parents. David? You, you're you walking kind of far, bro. Does your mom know you're over here? Okay, he's got parents. Okay. Do you have somewhere to stay? Come to my place. You're hungry, I bet. I'll make you something. My man. David's based, okay? My wife's away from home for a while, so you're fine to stay here today. What are those, sandwiches or tacos? No appetite? Are you off to bed early already? You can sleep in my room tonight. It's at the end of the hall upstairs. Is that me? David appears, the crooked man. Uh, let's turn down the volume just a just a little bit. Maybe like that much, and I think that's good. Okay. Let's uh, loot David's house. Refrigerator, cupboards. David's such a sweet guy. Like, what the hell? Can I sleep on his couch? No. Will. 
tomorrow. Let's have a little talk. What's going on here? Yo, David. David's house is huge. Not sure what room this is. You shouldn't go in without permission. Oh, at least I'm... I mean, you were... You just smashed someone's fishing rods that you didn't pay for. But you're okay. <laughs> but you don't want to mess with David, I guess. That's nice. Looks like a closet. But is it? Boogeyman in there? Okay, but what about the bathroom, dude? What if you need to use the bathroom? Yo, there's weights in here. Wait, what? Slap. Pop. Excuse me? Woo, warm at last. I just about froze to death in your pocket there, Will. Excuse me? You hear that? Let's have a talk. Oh, you know he's gonna be mad. I'm talking to a fat rat. <laughs> they pop. No. <laughs> Alright. I know it's the Strange Men series, but I didn't expect to find a strange rat. Well, ain't that how it goes. You do bad, people get mad. It's the way of the world. I'm a little loopy. I'm a little crazy, you know? Oh, it follows behind me! Look, that's so cute! There's a pile of books on the desk. Scenic photo. A dresser. Okay, I guess bedtime? What's up, Will? Let's hit the hay. Hey, don't tell me. Are you thinking maybe I should just beat it? Oh, God, dude. Don't beat it in someone else's house. That's so weird, dude. I don't even see tissues anywhere. You just standing on someone else's bed with your feet on? With your shoes on? Nah. That's bad manners, baby. That's bad fucking manners. Well, if that's what you want, I won't stop you. I'm an understanding rat, you know. You know that, right? That's fucked up. That's fucked up. Do nothing with it. Oh, now we have the rat. Jump on the tree, I guess. Oh! Well, it looks like we're okay. I feel like he definitely should have heard that, though. But maybe not. Maybe not. Well, we already ditched David. Brr, it's freezing. Let's find a place to stay quick. Like a motel or something. What? A motel? Do I even have any money? Dude, I feel like we're, like, playing a little kid, right? We have to be. This isn't David's town, though, is it? Oh, a snowman. It's a cute snowman. Looks like a kindergarten. Door's locked. Alright, well, not where I want to go anyways. Nothing? Okay. Oh, is that the school? Is that the school that Sophie's from? What the fuck is happening? Is that a cat? Help the cat. What the fuck was that? Dude, where's Kitty? What's happening? I left. Yeah, I was gonna say, don't let the cat near Pop. Way to go, Will. We got a motel. Let's move. Wait, wait, wait. I actually forgot to do something. Give me, like, one millisecond chat. Um, I'm not gonna use it, YouTube. I'm just... this game. These games get a little long, okay? So, I just always make sure I have a walkthrough pulled up, just in case... I don't, it's a no, there's like no spoiler walkthroughs. Um, yeah, I just, I just want you guys to know. Just want you guys to know. Okay, I just, I, I just got, I want you guys to know. I, uh, I'm not spoiler, it's not a spoiler walkthrough. It's just, just in case there's a puzzle, because sometimes the puzzles in these games have been a little hard. Let's just say I'm stupid. Let's just say I'm fucking stupid. Okay, chat, let's call it like it is. I'm stupid. I'm not cheating. I'm just stupid. Okay, chat? There's a difference. <laughs> motel. Okay, we made it to the motel. Hi, do you, how do you... Hello? Kids these days sure are cheeky. Running from home to use a motel? Yeah, my girlfriend's gonna be here in half an hour. Are you gonna give me a room? What is it? 
I'm busy watching these Detective Crawford reruns. Get out of here, kid. Come on, man. All right, all right, just go. Room 103. I gave him, I had the money? I had the money, I guess. Ooh, what's this? You're a demon child. Someday you'll burn you'll be burning in hell for your sins? Why do I have that on me? Am I gonna give that to someone else? The hanged man card. View card and letter in the item section. Wait, what's the note? It has an address and phone number. That's David's, I assume. A pencil case? Why do I have a pencil case? This kid's weird. <laughs> he finna get touched. I don't like the sound. Who's there? This room's in use. Hey. Hey, yo? You on your own? Where are your parents? Hey, get out of my room. Run away. Yo, excuse me. Sir, you gave me a room with someone in there. Yeah, what? I'm not giving you any room service, kid. Oh, whoops, that's a spare. Right, 103 is already occupied. Here, try 105. Okay, now move it. That's- I'm gonna get fucking destroyed out here. Bro. What's that guy's problem? Just a big-headed jerk. Never end up like him, Will. I mean, it's the middle of the night. This is- I mean, I mean, he has a reasoning. Okay, well, at least that guy went back inside his room. Hello? Yeah, I've played Fears to Fathom. I know where to check first. Check the bathroom. Thank God. No jump scare. <laughs> Wait. Toilet smells a little. Uh, just a little. Just a normal amount of stink. Okay. Um, can I turn on the TV? What am I supposed to do? Just... Watching some TV. Detective, what should I do? Should I tell my son what that man did? I know he would suffer. I know he would despair, his trust betrayed. I don't want him to suffer when it's so irrational. Hiding it because it's irrational. That's easier said than done. Oh, it's easier said than done. If you want to protect your son from everything irrational in the world, your only hope's to lock him up in a room. But I think your son wants to leave the room. Even if it's not logical, he's ready to bear it, even if it means getting the truth. Go on and tell him everything. This will be a trial for him. Um, nope. Mouse. Rat. Hey, it's Detective Crawford. That was the show your dad liked, huh? They sure run some old shows, don't they? Um, uh, okay. Oh, shower time? Shower time, chat. That's good. Yo, Will, this show's pretty good. You wanna watch? Uh, apparently not. Don't leave the towel on the floor. I know it's a motel, but still, have some standards, Will. Ah, uh, feeling down, huh? Hey, tomorrow, you ought to go to David's and apologize. You didn't come all this way just to do this, did ya? And I'll apologize with you, too. Alright? What, what are we doing? I'm not getting... That note that we had didn't really say a lot. Was that from our mom or dad, the note? 10 o'clock already. Overslept a little, eh? Boy, I'm starving. Before we go to David's, let's grab some breakfast somewhere. Nice. Breakfast. I love breakfast. Hey, that's the freeway. Think you'd have better luck finding food in town, eh? I love that it leaves the footprints, by the way. That's actually great. What is that? A jeep? <laughs> I love the footprints. <laughs> Oh, there's Mary's Kitchen. Okay. Ooh, there's a cafe. Breakfast awaits. Okay. Nice. Um, all the tables are full, though. Hello. Oh, no, there's one. What'll it be? What'll it be? The morning plate sounds good to me. You think it's the same? All right, let's share it. 
Hopefully they don't try to kill my rat that I brought in here. Have you decided what to order? Sorry, I can't tell what you're when you just point. Um, do you want the A plate or the B plate? Oh? Oh my god, it's Sophie! <laughs> Have I seen you somewhere before? That's so cute. <clears throat> ah! Ah, uh, wait! Why do you run away? What's up, Sophie? Do you know him? Ooh, wait, is he your boyfriend? <laughs> I didn't know you liked them young. Don't make fun of me. He's not no and he's not anybody. Just I feel like I've met him somewhere. Ah. Ah. The good old ah. Well, that's your caught me by surprise. What was with that girl? No chance she actually knows you. Ah, uh, well, forget what a girl like her thinks. Not worth worrying over, am I right? We gotta get to David's place. But we didn't get breakfast. What's the matter, Will? You scared? You don't want to go back to town? Oof. It, it's cold out here, Will. If you're not going back to town, find some place to rest. Or else I'm gonna freeze to death. Sophie appears. The Sandman. Park truck. The driver looks sleepy. Oh, park truck. The driver isn't around. Where am I supposed to go? Nope. Restricted area. Hell yeah, restricted area. She knows me, Clock. Uh, probably because I played as her. She's like, I recognize the player. Imagine if this game actually does become like super meta. That'd be really cool. Okay, we crossed a little lake. What is this kid's story? I just, I just want a little bit of story, okay? I just, I want to know a little bit of what's going on. Jump down, sure. Oh God. <laughs> We're okay. We're okay. Just busted a femur. It's okay. Uh, to the right, I guess. Oh, there's a path down there. I thought that was water, not trees. Yeah, the snow really broke our landing. <laughs> oh, thank God there was snow here. <laughs> Limps away. <laughs> now, what's this place? Why is this huge building here in, in the woods? Brr, it's cold. Will, get in so we can get out of the snow. No. Giga Chad. No. I like the cold. The cold never bothered me at. <laughs> Yo, Hungary, what's up? The gate has a chain wrapped around it and won't open. Oh my god, what am I supposed to do? Pencil case. Never mind. Left or right? To the right. What is this, a prison? Eh, eh, eh. Eh, eh, eh. Okay, maybe to the left? Finally caught a stream. Well, thanks for popping in, dude. There's holes in the surrounding wall. Well, get in there, bro. Get in there. You see a hole, chat? You go inside that hole, okay? It's how you be a man. I don't make the rules, chat. The door has a chain wrapped around it and it won't open. You see a hole in a tree, you stick your hand in it. What was that? There's a hatch. Wait, wait, wait. What does it say? Some kind of vent. No. Chat. Chat, Will is not sus, okay? I'm not sus. But we got a vent, okay? He's venting! Among us! Oh god, dude, my ankles! Whoa, that was some fall, Will. You alright? No! It hurts! <laughs> Just knocking over all these cans. Got a flashlight. Turn it on and off with the sub key. What? 
What's the sub key? What's the sub key, chat? Left shift. That's the sub key? I... I wish I knew that when I was playing the boogeyman. I've never heard of the sub key being referred to as shift. That would have saved me a lot of time. By the way, it hasn't been uploaded on YouTube yet, but the boogeyman is going to be like a five and a half hour long VOD. It's not all endings because I made the great idea of recording it all in one session. It took me a really long time. And if I had known the sub key was left shift, I could have skipped a lot of cutscenes. What's this game? This is The Hanged Man. And we're playing some kid named Will. He might be a little crazy. Because he might be a little... Wait, does it get brighter when I don't have... What? Sh fucking sticky keys, man. <laughs> it just tabbed me out for fucking sticky keys, dude. Oh my god. Okay, whatever. whatever. Dance! There's graffiti on the wall. Dance. Cans of spray paint. Take them. Yeah! Graffiti! Take the other one too. Oh, it's empty. Okay. Anyways, presumably... Is that a person? Seems someone's sitting here, but it's too dark to see. Um? You're just okay with this? What is it? See, you sense someone in the middle of the room. Yeah. Excuse me? Hello there. Hello there is right. Someone sitting in the chair. Yep. Yuck. Those clothes. Must be a hobo. It looks like he's sleeping. Hope he doesn't freeze. Well, maybe... Go inside. Why would you choose to sleep in here with the hobo, dude? Sure. Why not? Good ideas only. Uh, there's a book in here, and a, now my, my rat. This looks like some sort of confession booth, but this ain't no church, is it? So what in the world? Well, they used to have confession booths where priests would visit a prison pretty often. It could be a hospital too, but I'm thinking it's a prison, right? Confessing Will? Sorry, I think the priest is out, but alright, I can fill in. Yup, we'll get touched. Will does not seem like a smart kid, okay? Ahem. Come, confess your sins, oh little lost lamb. Well, uh, maybe big lost lamb. He'd not like that. What's happening? Man, I don't get that at all. That's nothing to confess for. It's just the way things went, right? Wait, did I miss something? Alright, enough fessing around. We gotta think about what to do next. Yeah. <laughs> um, that's a curtain. That's not even a door. Is he gonna hop in the other side? Oh, he is. Was that the hobo? Wonder if he heard that. I don't know about this place, but I do know it's creepy, and I'm not feeling warmed at all. Let's find some place else, Will. An open Bible. Oh, there we go. That's weird. It was the hobo. That's dangerous, dude. No no offense. Like, homeless people aren't evil, but at the same time, you don't really know what a stranger is capable of. It's not that he's homeless. It's that he's a stranger, and you don't know what he's capable of, so maybe don't risk that. A key's hanging from the key rack. Okay, take it. Thank you. It's locked. Well, let's see if this key fits. It, it does not. Some kind of vent. It won't open. Old documents are arranged haphazardly on the desk. Yo, can I get a stretch? Uh, uh. Chat, thanks for that stretch check. I really needed it. Folded chairs. Okay. Uh, won't open. 
Guess it's locked up tight with that chain. Scratch that, then. But a building this big has gotta have other exits. Let's look around, Will. Oh, now we're trapped. I knew venting wasn't the right idea. I knew venting would never help us. Overall facility map. Okay, <laughs> you are here. BLDG1. Building 2. Building 3. Building 4. In case of fire, leave immediately. Don't die. Won't open. Won't open. Oh, God. Thank God I'm alone in here. Just fart as much as I want. There's a book here. It's too dark to see clearly. Oh, my God. It's it's brighter without the flashlight on, but whatever. There's a storybook here. A note is attached which reads, Collected from room 1508. Return to library. Got a storybook. Okay. Old refrigerator won't open. What is this? Is this like a... It feels like a prison. But maybe not. An old notebook. The name Andy Thorne is written on the cover. Got a dusty notebook. What's it say? I've had a new revelation. My past tyranny is why I'm confined here. I now feel nothing but unease. What awaits me is only ruin. This is not the only fu this is not the future I desire. The only future I need is one of salvation. Okay, and what's the storybook say? Monster in the mirror. Oh god, my back is towards a mirror right now. The monster in the mirror asks, "What's your name? How old are you? Where do you live? What do you like? What do you hate?" Are you a good kid? Are you a bad kid? Who are you? Who are you? Who are you? Who are you? Who's that in the mirror? Nobody. Okay, thank God. Uh, boom. Oh, something inside. Got a key. Okay, sweet. <gasps> Ooh. Guess there's some friends of mine here, Will. Th thanks. Thanks, Pop. I got it. Okay. Trespassing on private property? For sure. It's building map on the building building board. Oh. Where am I? This is a shit map. There's no where am I? Okay. Take the map. Sure. Got area map one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Staff lounge. Sink with a dirty grime. Urinal. It's very gross. It's very gross. It's very gross. A drain. Toilet. A dirty toilet. Toilet paper roll. Yeah, I don't know if I'd ever sit on a toilet that's completely rusted. That's like asking for tetanus. That's worse than getting pegged. Visiting room. It's locked. Well, I got some keys, so... Gate number one. Oh, visiting room three. Arkin. It's worth a shot. Okay, wait. Now, well, there's gate number one. Nice. Okay. No way this is this key already, right? No, okay. Dining room. Sure. Hopefully this hobo isn't snacking down in here. What is this? Vent. Kitchen. Sure, we'll go in the kitchen. <laughs> well, with his rats, this food. Filthy sink. Large refrigerator, a pile of jute bags. Shelves, nothing on them. Oh, this is terrifying. Uh... Transport elevator. Something's inside, but it won't open. Okay. Wait, what? Oh, oh. Hey, hey. S somebody's coming. Uh, hide somewhere. Hide somewhere. Where the fuck do I hide? Oh, I'm, I'm hiding. Kind of. Oh my god, please don't look directly at me. Please. Oh, shit. Don't move. What are you doing here? Eh? Is that Keith? Weren't you... 
that runaway kid at the motel yesterday. Is that Keith? Dude, everyone's coming together, dude. <laughs> and if you haven't seen the Sandman, or uh, not the Sandman, if you haven't seen the Boogeyman, which I'm uploading tomorrow, this is Keith. It's like the Avengers. Everyone's coming together. What are you doing in a place like this? What's your name? Why aren't you in school? Well, at any rate, this is a restricted area. Come on, you're leaving. Sheesh. I'm not in the community safety division here. <laughs> what? Hey, if you're running from home, stick to motels, because this is an especially bad pick to stay the night. This place is what they call haunted. Oh, did he finally listen to David? Oh, guess you didn't know. Fifteen years ago, five people died here, and in a real unusual way at that. Sometimes dumb kids come here on a dare, but they come back telling the strangest stories that they saw shadows or heard sobbing. Oh, that was just me crying. Don't worry about it. You know, you want to know how those five got killed? Yeah. I hear they were hung, and their guts were cut open, all five of them. Jesus! Keith, you gotta chill, this is like a teenager, I'm pretty sure. They were hung by the leg, upside down. The blood pouring from their stomachs dyed them red. T Keith? Just like... THAT! Ah! 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 <laughs> ah! <laughs> or so the story goes. Well, scared, right? Glad you understand now. The homeless guy was a g g g ghost. I don't, I don't think so, Chad. I think he was just a homeless guy. <laughs> I think that's pretty normal. Leave the homeless guy alone. He's just a guy. <laughs> a rat? No! No! Pop! Pop! Wait! Don't go! Pop! Pop! When your kid has a sugar addiction. Huh. So you can speak. What did you have to do that for? Pop got scared off because you threatened him. That was your pet? He's not my pet. He's my friend! Huh? <laughs> Uh, um, I mean, pets can be friends. A little cringe, but a little cringe to say it like that, because they're still your pet, but whatever. <laughs> Loser, get real friends. <laughs> uh, anyway, you better take responsibility and help me find Pop. Me? Looking for that rat? You must be joking. But he ran away because you threatened him, okay? I'll say I'm sorry for being threatening, but I had no reason to expect you had a rat in your pocket, did I? And if you don't want your pet running, use a leash. What if he jumped out and bit somebody? Pop would never bite people. Sure, like you know best. Maybe you kept that rat in your pocket because you thought he wouldn't run, but he did, didn't he? That settles that. Sorry, but I've got no time to look for any rats. If you want to look, you'll have to do it yourself. Wow. Once you find him, get right out of here, stupid brat. Keith, I thought you got nicer after the last game. What's your name? It's none of your business. Get going quick. I don't think the snow's stopping anytime soon. Damn, Keith. Keith's a badass. <laughs> Lost my pet rat. Damn it. I guess we'll save now. Pop. I need to find Pop quick. Then I'll I'll get out of this place. Your kid really has a bad sugar addiction. I'll be fine on my own, R right, Pop? Keith appears, the boogeyman. Okay, they definitely wanted to just have that. <laughs> three, three achievements. I need Pop now. No, you don't. Event. Sauce, sauce, sauce. Okay, maybe not here. Maybe, maybe we keep going forward. You have a sugar addiction, friend? It's okay. Everyone gets those sometimes. 
It's hard to live life without having a sugar addiction anymore, dude. Sugar's in goddamn everything. I try. I, I watched a friend of mine, a personal friend of mine, go off of sugar because I think he was doing like keto or something, and he stopped. He stopped eating sugar, and that sucks ass, dude. Like you feel it apparently. Like you don't think it's bad, and then you get off of sugar, and you realize almost everything you eat has sugar in it nowadays. Dirty with grime and dust. Poop. All right, Hungary. Don't tell me when you're pooping. I don't need to know. What the hell is my goddamn rat? <laughs> Sorry, chat, if you're getting annoyed. I have to check every one of these rooms. Oh my god. It's like nothing even on the table. Watch there be like a bathroom? No, okay, good. Okay, literally nothing. To <laughs> the the hydrate. These doors are so squeaky and people are telling me to hydrate? A trash can. We're gonna throw up my guts because I'm about to. I'm gonna drink. I don't like drinking water. <laughs> I don't like drinking water that fast. It goes down the wrong hole, dudes. <laughs> a sink. It's dirty with grime. I'll do a hydrate when if I ever do a, abandon a go to an abandoned building. I'll do a big hydrate on stream in these like rusted sinks. Did I not look at those bathrooms? Take a shower, Will. All right, I said you, you, you totally drank water and it's gone down the wrong hole. Okay, chat. It's not like I put it somewhere else. Oh my god. Well, squeaky doors again, chat. This has got to be like a prison or something, right? What is this facility? It went in the witch hole? Oh yeah, sure, the witch hole. Tell us now, the witch hole, you know, the one that casts spells? That hole. Minor spelling mistake. Got him. You're sick, chat. You have a dirty mind. I'm pure of heart. I'm a clean boy. My ears, man. Glad I turned down the volume just a little bit. Dude, I feel like they're gonna jump scare me at some point with these fucking showers. <laughs> Hungary, I don't have a dirty mind. You have the dirtiest mind of us all. Not again. How many floors does this place have? I'm I'm just gonna Nope. Nope, I'm done. We can just check the check the showers. Yep. There's no way there's actually something in here, right? Ow! Don't bonk me. Don't quack at me. You're a bunch of quacks. What am I? Climbing, dude. Is this an apartment? The worst apartment complex ever? Like, what? What is going on? There's no way, dude. There's no way that's gonna be in one of these random rooms, right? Ooga booga. Dude, how many floors are there? This is like a prison, right? What is this? They said facility. Someone needs to bonk you. Yeah, you're right. Someone does need to bonk you, chat. 
<laughs> His walking animation's funny. <laughs> I feel like we're totally gonna get fucking jump scared or some shit at some point with these curtains. <laughs> Horror games hide clues too well. If there was a clue other than look for your rat, I... Oh, oh, we're, we're in a loop, aren't we? Oh, no. Oh, that makes sense. That makes sense. Someone needs to oil these doors. Damn, okay. I feel like I keep ending up in the same place. Nah, you're good, Will. You're good. You're good. Nothing. Bathroom? Did we read this? Yes, we did. Okay. So, <laughs> just make sure next time I explore an abandoned building, I'll keep the WD-40 on me, okay? Go up. I think we have been going up this entire time. Pretty sure this is up. What if we just go up like this? Okay, there's definitely not this many floors in this building. What if we go down? What am I, uh... What am I supposed to do here? Just keep going up. Let's just see what happens if we keep going up. Signs of something having been erased. Maybe this used to say the floor number. Come to think of it, what floor am I on? No idea, damn it. Where'd that jerk go? Uh, spray can. This place seems abandoned. Should be fine, right? Yeah, tag the place. Nice. Loopy stairs. Solve the loopy stairs puzzle. Oh, okay. What am I supposed to do? Go up? Well, now it's gone. Oh, there's something different here. It won't open. It's been painted over with concrete. A small gap under the door. What? Where's Keith? Keith, you, in you taking a shower, bro? No shower. Huh. Weird that there is a door like that, but okay. I can kind of hear something. Keith, why are you crying? You think about how your wife was going to divorce you again? Where is this guy? Is he in? The crying stopped. Something written on the desk. The monster's driving me out of here. I don't want to leave. I don't want to leave. I don't want to leave. Dirty bed. Dude, stop crying, dude. Will run. And we're gonna try to talk to the guy crying. We're gonna, it's probably the hobo or Keith. Keith's not a bad guy. Oh, no, there's no closet. These are shelves. Oh, 
the shelves. <laughs> Is it not in here? Maybe it's up higher. Oh, that's weird. How did we hear someone crying, dude? There's a notice about interviews on the bulletin board. Patients set to leave the hospital must be interviewed by their doctor by within one week. Building map on the bulletin board. Yes, take it. Oh my fuck. There was only four floors, bro. I was I was up five floors, six floors. Okay, there's six floors. Okay. Hey, but hey by the way, Malva. How you doing, dude? Take the map. Steal. All my homies steal maps off the wall. Won't open, won't open, won't won't open. What the hell, man? I don't like that, dude. I don't like this. I don't like this. Let's keep going. The crying stops. Boo hoo. <gasps> <laughs> that spooked Will for sure. You want to turn your flashlight back on, Will? Let's go inside. Ew! Someone's having a dirty time. A dirty bed. There's a dark red stain on it. Huh? Something under the bed. Where? My beloved Alec. I heard you're being moved to the back building in two weeks. I suppose I'll never get to meet you again. If you can still understand me at all, read this letter carefully. One week from now, I'll come to see you. Sit at the rightmost seat in the visiting room. I'll have a knife put under the table. Take it with you in secret. There will be two there, but only take one. Arkin will bring the other one to you if you fail. Sit at the rightmost seat in the visiting room. Okay, so we gotta go to the visiting room. Where the fuck is the visiting room? Arkin has told me he'll definitely get this letter to you. Once you've read this, hide it and don't show anyone. Because if anyone finds it, it means trouble for Arkin, your loving mother. Oh, that's good. Is that downstairs? More? I assume so. Is this the visiting room? No, that's the dining room. Where's the visiting room? Why is that door open? What's this? This place... Gives me a really bad feeling. Okay, well, it could have just been Keith. Let's save. <laughs> Let's do a little save. It's locked. Wait, maybe... Keith. Nice. Okay. The visitation rooms. Something... There's something between the table and floor. Oh, is this the knife? Got a knife. What? How do they? How are they gonna pass a knife over this without a guard seeing? What the hell? Okay, definitely a prison now, though. All right, chat. What the fuck do I need a knife for? Though? Oh! I see the ghosts are not happy with us right now. <laughs> I see. I see the ghosts are a little spooky. This door is open now too. Visiting room. There he is. I see you, you bastard. I saw that. Dude, the ghosts are not happy with me today, apparently. Jeez. Okay, well, I mean... Alright. Um. Go up here. Where am I? Just a bathroom? Staff lounge. What am I supposed to use this knife for, dude? Nothing in here. Okay, you know what, chat? Give me a minute. I, I gotta take a piss. I, I didn't I didn't plan this stream out well, okay? BRB.
Did I just see someone say I should be wearing a diaper? Worse. Hungary just said piss my pants. You're both wrong. A true gamer would have a bucket. True gamers keep a bucket under their desk. <laughs> Did I wash my hands? Yes, I did. So where am I supposed to go? Chat, was there anything I could have done? With the knife? Won't open. No, not back there. Did you just say a real man? Hey! I can leave? Pop. If I left without Pop, I'd be a real scumbag. Ah, dude, this is just sad. I, I Okay, worst ending. Can't leave without Pop. Oh, okay, good. Never mind. Wasn't that door locked, though? A real man would piss himself right now. Won't open, won't open. Oh, yeah. Let's, uh, pop that on. Hmm. Where's the upstairs, though, then? I don't think there's anything in the dining room. <laughs> no, it's Snap and Crackle. It's like leaving only with Alvin. Is anything actually- Oh, there he is! Pop! I was gonna say, I was gonna check this door. Maybe it would work. Wait, what? Won't open. It's been painted over with concrete. Okay, but how do I get the hell in there, dude? Hello there. Hello there. Hello there. Maybe there's a... There's a way now. This wasn't like this, because I checked this. There's a hole near the bottom of the wall. Light is coming through from the neighboring room. Look in the hole. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh! Hi! Hi, sir! Hi! Oh my god. Get that knife out, Will. Get that knife out. Hey, uh... You were the one in the hall earlier, huh? Thought about t talking to you, but you were praying. Pop! Okay, he's a good guy. Oh, this? Is it your p pet? He's more like a, my friend, kind of. Th that's a cute friend you have, um, but s still, kind of weird to have a rat friend. I mean, I mean, they c can't talk, right? Oh no, he's he's got the jitters. He got the jitters, boys. That's not a good sign. Pop can talk. Oh, but really? I've never met a t t talking rat before. Hey, Pop. Want to say hi to e Ed? Oh wait. Hey, Pop. Who want to say hi to e Ed? Your name's Ed. Y yeah, it's just short for Edward. And you? Will. Do you live here, Ed? Nah, I I have a home, but c can't go back. I'm s staying here for a while. I'll be leaving soon, but I've g got something to do, so, so I'm still not sure. Uh, Pop! Who moans like, ah? Uh, why did he do that, dude? Why did he do that? He ran off. I guess he h hates me. Pop. Were you l looking for him? S sorry I made him run. I'd like to help look. But I'm busy searching, too. What are you searching for? A, a notebook. It's small and black. I thought it was in this room, but I can't f find it. Well, hmm. I'll look for Pop, but I'll bring that if I find it. Could you catch Pop if he comes back here? Oh, sure thing. Thanks, Will. I'm not sure if I should be trusting this man. <laughs> Was the notebook really here? 
Uh, was the notebook really here? Yeah, it just should have been. Maybe it was in some other room. I'll have to look around later. You're making a real mess there. Uh, I got hungry, so, so I've been eating. I think your friend wanted my leftovers. Okay. Kind of weird, but let's just go through the hole, I guess. Uh, there you go. Flashlight time. He's looking for the death note. Why is he in the locked up concrete room, man? Why is he in there? Okay. Going up. Can, can I talk to the crying man yet? Ugh. Dude. Dude, stop crying. Solve your problems. We, uh, we read this, didn't we? The crying stops. Fuck this, I'm leaving. Fuck this shit, I'm out. Are any of these doors open now? Oh. Ah. Uh. Oh. Convenient. Thank you, ghosts. Hey, hey, I see that. There it is again. Sounds like someone crying. It's fucking Keith, man. He's crying a heart out. Shelves, there's nothing on them. A mirror. You can see the other room from here, but you can't see in here from there. Being watched from a mirror is pretty scary. Is that what the monster in the mirror is? File of old documents. A bookshelf. A bookshelf. Okay. Empty cans of juice. Yeah, yeah, juice. Yeah, adult juice, maybe. I thought I heard sobbing from the other room. There's no one there. Is there? Well, let's go see. Oh, it won't open. Okay, never mind. I can't move. What? What? Excuse me? Who? What? Oh! Oh my god! Um? Did the ghost just crack my neck? Did I just lose the game? This is why I hate the dark. I had the flashlight on! Because there's always something there. That's your mom. Okay, Will. Good night. Mom? Yes? It's nothing. If you say so, good night. Well, I don't think we're dead, but I don't know why the ghost decided to fuck me up there. Leave me alone. I don't even have... <gasps> That's so awful, dude. Not a mime. No way, dude. No shot. When it's night and the room goes dark, he always appears. Why am I being haunted by a fucking mime, dude? The, the fucking French. He never says a word. He's just there. Miming. He must be a mime. A fucking mime. I try to call for mom, but it's pointless. He disappears once the lights come on. Sleep paralysis demon shit. Yeah, probably. Just who is he? Does he want to tell me something? Is he my friend? Or is he... My demon? N none of the above. He's actually just... A pure neutral mime. You've got guts to take a nap here, kid. Keith! Why didn't you put me up in the chair at least? You? What did you come here for? Did you find your rat? Just leave him. I'm sure he'll have a fine life out in the wild. Now, how about you give up and head home, Mr. William Morton? 
Huh? What are you? Word of advice. When you run from home, don't bring your student ID, even if you do hide it in your jacket. You, you can't just take people's things. So, what is it you skipped school and came all this way for? How about this then? What kind of business do you have with David? Huh? I'm asking what you want with David, resident at 135 Womack Street. What's your relationship to him? He's mine. I'm his cousin. Now stop snooping already. Oh. One more thing. Are you receiving any threats? Huh? Demon child, huh? That's one worrying letter to be walking around with. Give that back. Answer my question. Would you rather be lectured by a scary officer at the police station? I'm not being threatened. I think. Eh? I said give it back. Why do you know David? Does he know you? Met him a while back. Now we go drinking sometimes. So what's your story? <laughs> ah, yes. Nothing better than the shared alcoholism that we have together. Me and David. We've seen some shit. We've seen some messed up stuff. Am I right, chat? <laughs> It's none of your business. Really? Well, go off and look for your rat. You come with me. Huh? And why should I? Cause I'm... Hmm? Speak up, kid. I, Cause I'm scared. Walking around here on my own. <laughs> I love Keith. Keith is, Keith is, Keith would have been number one if David wasn't the first character we played as, okay? Keith is great. I, he's such a fucking dick. <laughs> uh, I, I relate with that, okay? <laughs> you just laughed, didn't you? Uh, I'm not laughing. Liar! Oh, I'm the liar? Why would you be getting scared now? You were waltzing around here just fine earlier. I think we see ghosts. Because Pop was with me. That's why I could still handle it. Eh. If Pop's there... If Pop's there, I'm fine. If I listen to Pop, I'll always be okay. Man, Coca-Cola has re really gotten into this kid. I, I should have known. I shouldn't have come here, way out to this town in all this snow. Pop tried to stop me. He said I shouldn't, but I kept insisting. You hit your head, kid. If you really think your rat's talking to you, you ought to, you ought to visit a hospital. If Pop doesn't, doesn't come back, what do I do? It's so cold and I'm all alone. What if... Excuse me? <clears throat> Excuse me. Hey now, don't cry. You're 14, right? You can't go crying that easily. I I'm not crying. Listen, this building's full of rats. Seen a bunch along the way. Does yours have any identifying features? Even better, it has a name. His right leg's bent, and there's a little fur missing on it. Alright, if I catch him, I'll bring him to you, but don't get your hopes up. You, can't keep, you can keep searching some, but be ready to give up if you don't find him. You're not staying here past nightfall. Got that? You won't come with me? Do I look like I came here for a relaxing stroll? I'm busy with work here. Nice. Just, who are you? I'm a detective. Why are you here? That, my friend, is none of your business. Well, what's your name? Keith. I get on your way. <gasps> Ghost in the bell! Okay, I don't, I don't know about that, but okay. Open this. A clutch bag. Maybe it's Keith's? Hmm? All the years you suffered, those were the best years of your life. George Schmid. Uh, mid. Hey, stop digging around in there. D don't threaten me. He's literally a cop. I'm pretty sure he's allowed to do that. 
Is that photo yours? That's this building, right? Not mine. I'm borrowing it. Although I doubt I'll give it back. Is that... Oh, okay. What are you saying? Um, hey, what kind of building is this anyway? A hospital? It was an old mental hospital. It got shut down ages ago, though. Oh, okay. After millionaire Jim Cork bought up the forest, it was repurposed as a homeless shelter for a few years. Shelter? A place the homeless could call home. Was that incident 15 years ago thing true? What was it about? Sorry, I'm not really one to tell spooky stories to people liable to wet their pants. <laughs> this building's strange. There are these shadows or something, and the locked door is opening up all of a sudden. Locked doors? Well, that'd be me. Huh? So unlike you, little trespass trespasser, I have permission to be here. So I also borrowed some of the keys. Of course it's old, so lots have been lost to time. But still, there are these shadow things. They're moving all around. Oh yeah, shadows everywhere, because it's dark. And you freaked out, so you think they're moving. Keith, you gotta work with me here. What? Go on, find your rat. Fine, I will. Flashlight on. Okay. Will, did you happen to open any more doors? Did you open this one, Will? Oh, he did. Nice. I guess this was him. Got a key. Hey. <laughs> hey, Keith. Did you unlock this door? Who knows? Must have been unlocked already. It wasn't. It wasn't, chat. It wasn't unlocked. But, um. But, um. Oh, did it say locked from the other side? Yeah. Yeah, I think it did. I guess we just go down all the way? Because I don't think any of these doors were locked. I guess we'll just keep looking around until we find something. No, not this place. Actually, no, I think this door is locked down here. Right? Never mind. Never mind. Is he? No. There's a lot of walking around in this one. Staff lounge. No. Won't open. Hmm. Won't open. Was there any doors over here? That we're like missing at the entrance? Maybe? Is this where we came from? I think it is, right? Yeah. Dude. Oh, I'm scratching my head. <laughs> oh, that's so good. Oh, mm. Dude, head scratches are sometimes, like, the best feeling in the world, okay? Okay, chat, let's, let's go back to Keith, maybe? Maybe it's that. Maybe it's just go back to Keith. Talk to him.
Nope. Empty cans of juice. No. Chat, I'm not sure. Oh, wait, I got a posture check. Uh. Pop. Crackle. Oh, this one? Maybe this one. Not, not this one. Okay. We'll come back to that. We'll come back to that gonna happen chat at some point we're gonna come back to that <laughs> it's just visiting hmm maybe the toilet wait what oh it's a separate room the toilet Call the rat's cell phone, eh? Genius. A <laughs> video call the rat. Yeah, I don't. I don't know what's happening. I don't know what's happening, dude. Don't tell me I have to explore all those bedrooms. Was there a door around here? I think there was. What door is not locked? This one? This one. Nice. I forgot about this room completely. Oh my god. What is that painted on the wall? Pop? Pop, good. I found you. C come on down, Pop. Let's go. This place isn't... You can't settle down. You can't get down. W wait there. I'll get you. No, you won't. Can't reach it. My lord, don't you do that to me. Something on the ground. Got tarot cards. Okay. I think I fucked up that puzzle. So how am I supposed to do this? If I push it up, can't. How does this puzzle work? Cause I can't go left. Oh my God, dude.
Oh, wait. Oh, my God. I didn't think it would be that simple. What did you run away, Pop? Why did you run away, Pop? Maybe it's not Pop. The tragedy that befell the homeless. The happy murders. Oh, God. That's not a good thing. All are you familiar with a certain incident that occurred in the deep woods on the outskirts of Marvel Hill? Deep Woods Hospital, which once accommodated patients with mental illness, was abandoned in 1970 and long neglected, but it was later purchased, woods and all, by one Jim Cork, famous millionaire and philanthropist. Cork made use of the old hospital as a shelter for the homeless, calling in priests to open a chapel and running a social program, a social action program. You know, all this came to an end when that gruesome incident, which came would come to be known as the Happy Murders. One winter day, a priest in the chapel noticed something amiss with the shelter's residents. He attempted to question them as they kept suspiciously silent. Soon discovered five corpses in the building. Nobody wanted to tell the priest. The causes of death all differed from stabbing to strangling, and they were also forced and all found in different locations. Yet they were a common feature. The bodies were all in plain sight, hanging from a rope in the room. Oh, I don't like that. To police questioning, five among the residents confessed to murder as to their motives they gave various reasons have an argument or having the, never liked their victim but they they spoke not a word about the bodies hanging from the ropes police announced that the most recent corpse was three days dead the oldest corpse had been dead for three weeks <laughs> yeah they're like yeah we'll murder them but i didn't i didn't hang them i fucking beat that guy to death now you're noticing something bizarre aren't you in the three weeks since the first murder, four other murders took place. And the homeless residing in the shelter decided not to report them, but to go on pretending they didn't see a thing. Oh my god. After the five criminals confessed and stated their motives, they all made this final comment. Now I've finally become happy. What the fuck? Cork had the facility completely shut down, and the homeless living there all dispersed without ever speaking of what had happened. Deepwoods Hospital had not been demolished nor renewed since the happy murders. It simply sits there quietly in the forest. What? What's this? Is this the incident from 15 years ago Keith mentioned? Yikes. I shouldn't have read that. Me reading stuff like that only makes things worse. Got a tabloid. Nice. There's graffiti on the wall. That's some cool graffiti, am I right? Pop, why are you running? Do you hate me now? Yes. The answer is yes. No, I don't think so. <laughs> but it would be pretty funny. Oh, that's creepy. Ghosts! Ghosts! What the fuck is this, man? What's this say? It's a building map on the bulletin board. How many maps do I need, bro? Oh my god, dude. It's huge. Nah, take the map. Yep. Let's steal. Fire extinguisher. Take it. Something's on top of the flower pot. Does that fit? Oh, uh, a headless doll. Why is it headless? And there's there's the string tied around it. W wait, is this hair? Oh. <laughs> oh my God, it's the Grundler. Oh my God, bros, it's the fucking Grundler from the Sandman. Oh my God. One second. Sheesh, what does it take to get your attention? Are you just ignoring me?
Yes. So, you're Will, right? I don't have the wrong person, do I? Did David, like, share a picture of us or something? Huh? Oh, I'm glad I got it right. Okay, let's get going. You'll catch a cold. Stop. Stay away from me. You, you're that cafe girl, aren't you? Why do you know me? And, and you stared a hole through me earlier. I asked David. You're his cousin, aren't you? Huh? You asked D David? I'm David's friend. He's worried, don't you know? C okay, let's ho let's head home. How did you find me? H hey, wait a second. Is your first idea just to enter an abandoned ho a mental facility? Huh? <laughs> oh yeah, okay. I said wait, let go, you stupid girl. Jeez, you're noisy. I'm just doing what I was asked, okay? What do you mean asked? I explain yourself. So, after I was done with work, I called David. I was like, I had a customer who just looked who looked just like you. Then David said that was his cousin, who came to visit but disappeared, and he'd been looking, so I decided to help him look. A truck driver near the freeway said he saw a boy head into the woods alone, so I wondered if you might have been here. Damn, dude. Sophie's too nice. The grundler, everybody. She be grundling. David's been super worried, so what were you thinking? Visiting him and then disappearing? Oh, be quiet. I'm going to go back eventually, but that isn't important right now. What's that mean? I got separated from my friend in there. I just, I can't leave until I find him. Huh, you came here with your friend? David didn't say anything like that. Alright, in that case, I'll help you look. Huh? R really? I mean, there's no way you can just ditch your friend. Let's get you reunited and leave quick, okay? If it starts snowing hard, getting back will be rough. Oh my god, we have a friend! Chat, we made a friend! We have friends! Okay, but this door is open. There we go. The doll is gone. A flower pot. It's gone. What is it? There was a doll here, but it's gone. Was there really? You weren't just seeing things? You're doubting me? I really saw it. Jeez, no need to shout. You're a weird one, Mr. Grinch. <sighs> okay. Nothing in the trash can. A doll. But does it have its head? Notice has been left on the board. Notice, Dr. Dennis Siniar has taken a long vacation for recuperation purposes. Is that... Okay, that's it. Nice. Big lore. Men's bathroom. Nothing in the toilet, eh? Nothing today. But what about tomorrow? Checking everything, okay? Dirty toilets. Try taking her to Keith. Oh, that's kind of true. Oh, I thought there was someone else at the top, and I was like, who the fuck is that? Nothing in the desk. A seat. Shelves, nothing on them. Okay. Well, I want to explore the new area, that's all. Two. Okay. Five sandbags. Oh, I found Keith. Huh? Mr. Keith? Everyone knows everyone but Will. Why are you here? Do you two know each other? Hmm, I guess. Why are you here, Mr. Keith? Bored? Do you think I take my walks in places like this? It's her work, obviously. You're the one who needs to explain herself. David said he was looking for his cousin, so I'm helping. But said cousin says he got separated from his friend, so I thought I'd help him look. Nothing gets you to shy away, huh? 
say you two just get out of here. Lest you two forget. This is technically private property. Sorry I'm late. Hey, Kerm, how you doing today? It's okay to be at school. It's okay. That's fine, guys. You should focus on school. Yes, sir. Oh. What? <laughs> Hi. Hey, Keith, can you get that toolbox down? Sophie, get it for him. I can't reach it either. Chuh. Chuh. God damn it. Nice. Got a screwdriver. Got a crowbar. Got a hammer. That's a lot of tools. Get going. I'll tell on you to pop us, Sophie. I, I know, I know. Nice. Nice. Big chat. Big. It's not one. Hey, what's your connection with Keith? He saved me once when I got involved in an incident a little while ago. He's also my dad's client right now. Client? Papa's job covers things like inheritance, and I guess he wants to write a will and testament. A will and testament? He seems pretty young still. Old or not, people die. I guess so. Hey, is he really a detective? He's kind of nasty and stern and scary. He's not a bad guy. No, not a bad guy. Not a good one either, mind. Well, which is it? I mean, every time we meet, he always teases me, like calling me matchstick or starving chicken. <laughs> that one's good. That's terrible. Right? Is that... <laughs> he just makes fun of her. He just fucking berates her. This is new, right? This is still new. This machine you don't understand. Matchstick is kind of perfect. Oh. It's a storybook. Story time. The boy who cried wolf. Ugh. Once there was a shepherd boy who had to look after a flock of sheep. One day he felt bored and decided to play a trick on the villagers. He shouted, Help! Wolf! Wolf! The villagers heard his cries and rushed out of the village to help the shepherd boy. When they reached him, they asked, Where is the wolf? The shepherd boy laughed loudly. Ha ha ha! I fooled all of you. I was only playing a trick on you. A few days later, again, he cried, Help! Help! Wolf! Wolf! Again, the villagers rushed up the hill to help him, and again, they found that the boy had tricked them. They were very angry with him for being so naughty. Then, sometime later, a wolf really went into the field. The wolf attacked one sheep, and then another. And another. The shepherd boy ran towards the village shouting, Help! Help! A wolf! Help! Somebody! The villagers heard his cries, but they laughed, because they thought it was just another trick. The boy ran to the nearest village and said, A wolf is attacking the sheep! I lied before, but this time it's true. Finally, the villagers went to look. It was true. They could see the wolf running away, and many dead sheep lying on the grass. And they lived happily ever after. Wait, was that? Its stomach is cut open with cotton coming out. Excuse me. Why? Excuse me, why? Why? Who is murdering dolls, man? Okay. Keep going. What is this? The pediatrics. Pediatrics. One house. A small toy. Some drawings that look like a child's... There's also writing on the pictures. <laughs> the wolves. One day a shepherd boy saw a wolf meeting other wolves. They were talking about attacking the villagers and eating them. Why do the wolves talk? But the boy said nothing to the villagers. Um? A few days later, lots of wolves attacked the village. The wolves are lots of ate lots of the villagers. The boy watched the villagers being eaten and shouted, It serves you right. You wouldn't believe me, so you got punished. That's great. I don't think that's how the story went, actually. Can I grab that? Oh, there we go. There's a piece of paper on the desk. It's titled, A Conversation with Lisa Gardner. 
Sam. Lisa, could you tell us about your pictures? Is that the boy who cried wolf? Yes, that's right. Seems to have a different ending. Did you come up with that? Yes, that's right. Why did the boy let the villagers die? Because they didn't believe him. The boy was the one who lied. Grown-ups lie all the time, too. And all the villagers died. No, four of them are still on the run. What are they doing now? I don't know, but a wolf better eat them soon. Why should they be eaten? Once all the bad grown-ups are gone, we can go anywhere. Ooh, that is... <laughs> that is a little depressing. That is a little fucking depressing. Yo, see ya, peace, giga chat, supremacy, have fun. We just leave? I guess we just leave. So what am I supposed to do? <laughs> oh my god, dude. What is it? I, I just... There was some sort of shadow. Hey, stop it. You mis just mistook something, right? She fucking laughed. She fucking giggled. There's something under the bed. It's a doll in the bed. I'm gonna rip this doll, fucking destroy it. Oh, we can actually cut the doll. <laughs> I just, I was just fucking with you. Rip that doll's stomach open, just like. Oh my god. Oh, hold on. What are you doing? Wait, why did I do that? Actually. Walk around and find chill stuff, eh? Toilet. Goddamn toilets. In my games? Hey, what the fuck is that? Well, let's go in there, chat. Ooh. Oh! Uh, this. It's the doll that was in the flower pot. It was over there? Y you're sure of that? Are you saying the doll moved by itself? I'm not lying. It was really over there before. S seriously, you don't have to shout. <laughs> okay. I guess we don't take that one. Alright then. Kind of random, but okay. Is there any more under the bed? There's nothing, nothing in the desk drawers. Shelves, there's nothing on them. Oh, there's a person there? Why are they giggling and laughing, dude? Stop laughing at me. Oh my god, I'm scared. Oh, wait. What's this? Staff member's diary. Okay. Oh, it's completely blank. That Andy really creeps me out. He's always gathering people around the visiting area for some weird divination. They're convinced they have to follow their fortunes. Sometimes they won't eat or won't take baths. And they burn their own hands. The patient in 2103 is finally getting sent to building 3. Thank goodness. That girl drove the doctor up the wall and sent him on a vacation. Making a psychiatrist neurotic is no joke. Just watching her wander around makes me feel like I might lose it too. Andy's not listening to me anymore. Says he got a bad fortune, so he won't leave the room. He's just been clinging onto the table. We'll have to hope he doesn't he dies we'll have to hope he dies that way. What? Why would you hope he dies? Lost the key to the library, but there's a spare, so I could probably leave it. Besides, I don't want to get yelled at.
What do now? What do now? What do now? Yeah, that won't open. Crowbar! Oh. Well, the crowbar didn't work. Wait. Let me try something. I forgot I have tools now. Wash basin and drain. Looking closely, there's something in the drain. Yes, yes, okay. Crowbar? Nice! There's a doll in the drain. Use the knife. Keep stabbing these fucking dolls, dude. Cut the doll. Why am I just doing this? Why am I a little fucked up? confused on what I should be doing right now. I guess I should be checking like literally everything I can. Is it definitely oh can I knife that one? No. Definitely gonna be extremely easy to miss anything. What is this by the way? No comments? Okay. Just a bunch of rebar on the on the wall. That's kind of interesting. Is there another one in here? A drain. I mean, my crowbar is already gone. Sorry, just looking at something. Um, hmm. I'm gonna have to pull up the guide for this one. <laughs> Love how Sophie just went with it. There's one. There was a doll in here, wasn't there? Whoops, I read this. I read this. Why did I click on it again? What am I appeasing the ghost of this little girl by cutting them open? I guess I am, because I just realized there's a bunch of dolls. Their stomachs cut open. Her coming out. supposed to do bro <laughs> oh my god oh my god dude jesus christ i'm like Dying looking for these dolls and then the fucking little girl just laughs in my face cut this doll up cut this doll up right now Okay, is that all these dolls? Keith hey, what's up seems busy with this investigation
Well, maybe we have to keep walking around. <laughs> oh my god. How is Sophie not seeing this, dude? What am I, Paul? Another reference to the first game, The Cricket Man, by the way. Notice Dr. Dennis Siniar is taking a long vacation for recuperation pro problems. Oh, nope, can't do anything there. <gasps> There's the doll. Wow. Sorry, I thought I could talk to Sophie. But the doll. Uh, did the music stop? It did, but it started up again. Chop, chop. Okay, that's... door open before? It was, right? That's where the doll was. We're up to four dolls. Oh! Oh! Is this open now? What are you doing? It won't open? Y yeah. It doesn't look like it's locked, but I'll try it. Move aside. The grundler be grundling. <laughs> huh, see, it opens. What, but, but... You're just a weakling, Will. I'm sorry to say this. I'm sorry to say this, Will, but you're kind of weak. Ah! Ah! <laughs> what was that for? There were just more shadows. I, I told you to knock it off. Are you trying to get me scared? I'm not lying. There really are these shadow things. I've been seeing them over and over. C come on, shadows? Just What are you trying to say? I see ghosts, and you don't, apparently. Ghosts? Ah! <laughs> <laughs> there was oh my a god, ghost oh my god, this place is haunted. There's a ghost, and it just came out of nowhere. And just it was really bad. Out. Help us, oh god. please. Oh god, Keep this is bad. This please is bad. help We're us. die. <laughs> okay. Shut up. This is why I left full voicing, voice acting off. I'm sorry, okay? I I just, I couldn't have full voice acting. It's just a little, um... I just like doing it myself. That's what we'll say. Sophie. Uh, uh, um... Well, Will says he saw ghosts, so, Mr. Keith, it's scary. Come with us. Will? J just so you know, I'm not kidding or anything, but I've been seeing all these weird shadow figures. You have to believe me. Well, I've got some good news for you. Ghosts don't exist. There you go. Dismissed. Hold on now. You won't come with us? Listen to yourself, Sophie. First fairies, now ghosts. What's next? Aliens? I'll tell your dad if you keep rambling about nonsense. Out of my sight. Gah, make fun of me, will you? Well, fine. Two of us can handle it. Come on, Will. I don't know if we can. Oh, flashlight back on. Uh, should we go back? I guess we'll just go back. Kind of chill how Keith is so chill about a girl and a little boy walking around in the dark. There's cloth laid on the table. Why is there cloth on this table? This sort of looks like what you put tarot cards on. Really? A friend of mine used to bring them to school. Look, it's kind of faded in the shape of cards. Maybe it's meant for a three card reading? Three card reading? It's where you turn over three cards from left to right, and they tell your past, present, and future, I'm pretty sure. Okay. You know, I just realized something. Will? Will's got a bit of a booty, man. Look at this guy. Wait. Is that his backpack? I can't tell if it's his backpack or his butt. But I have tarot cards, don't I? Yes. 
Oh, hey, are those tarot cards? Why do you have those? I picked them up earlier. That's kind of nostalgic. One of my friends loved tarot. She used to give me readings all the time. Do you know what the cards mean? Oh, absolutely. My friend talked my ear off about them. I'll tell you if you want to know. Oh, no. What does this mean, dude? Subkey. What's the meaning? The chariot means victory, I think. Reversed. I believe it's discouragement. No, dude. No. Confirm. The emperor? Um, emboldened. And the reverse should be tyranny. The magician, that means creative. Reverse it, and it means indecisive. Me, for real. The justice the justice card is that just is just justice, surely. And if reversed, I think it's prejudice. The moon means unease. When it's reversed, I think it'd mean recovery. Old man. The hermit is secret. Reversed, it's probably solitude. The, the card is judgment. It means salvation and regret. Okay. I feel like the tower was ruin. Reverse it and it becomes tension. Isn't the tower death? The hanged man. That card is the hanged man. It has the meanings trial and limit. Oh, oops. The death card. um, Turning point and reversed. I think it's laziness. Huh. Oh, is that a hangman card? You had another one? I was given it. By who? I don't know. Eh? Eh? Hey, how about this card? What's its deal exactly? Is it a bad card? Hmm, I'm not too sure either, but I think it has a bunch of interpretations. If you look at it this way, it looks like a man hanging from a branch and suffering, doesn't it? Who knows if he was forcibly hanged or did it himself, hence meanings like trial and self-sacrifice, but you see... <laughs> look at it this way, and the, and the man is on the branch, standing precariously, maybe even dancing. Yeah, he's sexy. Yeah, I can't see that. Y yes, you can. This is That's why this cart also has the meaning of turnabout. After surpassing trials and self-sacrifice, a sudden reversal of fortune awaits. That's the meaning of this card. He's dancing. So it's not really an, an especially bad card then? Pretty much. Listen to the explanation of the hangman. Card. I feel like that's going to come in handy. Okay, let's keep going. Oh, another ghost. W what's wrong? You can't go any further? I'm sort of scared. I've got this weird, gross feeling. I don't want to go. Eh? We're going. Don't want to go any further. <laughs> don't want to go any further. This building map posted up. Oh, sweet. Dude, not more map cards I'm not going to use. <laughs> When have I used any of these maps? If I could press just one button, it'd be easy, but I can't. Is this where the Keith was? No. Oh, wait. Wait. I think I have to place the cards now, don't I? Yup. Oh, okay. Alright, chat. What's... What are we doing here? What are we doing here, chats? Uh, YouTube will be right back. Okay, okay, okay. I think I see.
Is it in this? I remember... Yes. Okay, so tyranny, unease, salvation. Oh, God. Okay, and then... Tyranny, unease, salvation. Tyranny. What was tyranny? The justice? Tyranny or turned upside down, right? Tyranny unease. The hermit, I think? And an upright. Tyranny. Okay, tyranny is upside down emperor. That's that's right. Tyranny, unease, and judgment, right? So it can't be unease. Maybe the moon? Upside down moon? And judgment, which would be justice, maybe? That's weird. It's like that strange feeling went away. Oh, of course it went away. Of course! I don't know how I did that, man. You said you felt gross or something. Is it okay now? It feels kind of... It kind of feels a little better. Hmm, well, whatever. There's fucking hair down there, dude. That's gross. Let's ignore that for now. Why is it playing scary music, man? Nah, dude. Nah, you can't just have a room like that. Okay, what is that, dude? Whose room is that? 2103? Check the bed. Check the desk. Check the bathroom. Ooh. Oh, it's following us around. Again? Why is it over here now? You saw it before too, right? This was the doll in that toilet. Is it really the same doll? I'm not exactly easy... It's not exactly easy to tell in the dark. Besides, who would have moved it? The hobo. Why won't you believe me? This is definitely it. Because I don't want to believe the doll moved on its own, okay? <laughs> well, yeah. That would be fucking terrifying. Okay. Where? There's so many rooms. Dude, what am I supposed to do? Bathtub is filled with muddy water. One of these bathtubs not gonna be muddy water? Ooh, does someone just fart? Excuse me, did you just fart, sir? Big stink? There's a scrap of paper on the floor. Take it. Got a note. Wooden box on the floor. That's kind of weird. Oh, we picked it up. Okay, it's ours now. Door to the bathroom is broken. Fuck it. If we really have to come back, it's probably not for the bathroom anyways. Dude, there's so many doors to explore in this game. Oh, whoops. Whatever, man. I'm 
just looking for like anything big. Sealed off with an iron plate? What does that even mean? Why would they waste a plate? This, this this hotel sucks. Stretching. Too dangerous to climb up the steps. What does that mean, dude? When the kiss scene. I don't know if that's gonna happen. I'm pretty sure I'm underage, so. Pretty sure, I mean, will, not me, literally, but. Concrete wall is crumbled, showing the wooden framework. The wood is rotting. Break it. Oh, wait. <laughs> wait, he actually broke it. Okay. But where the hell am I? The door behind door to the bathroom is broken what does that mean breeze falling onto the floor there's a hole in the ceiling the spirits are blocked by rubble so what if it could get upstairs through this hole uh, move the table Good. I'm, I'm glad he was thinking like I would. Okay, but what am I supposed to do with this? Move the chair? Climb upstairs to the ceiling in the... Okay. Okay. What's the fucking point of this? Oh, the bathroom, the bathroom. No, wait. Drop down this hole? That's where it got up. Drop through the bathroom hole. I thought we did that though, didn't we? Was that a different room? That just brings me here. Oh, this is a different floor, isn't it? This is a different floor, isn't it? Yep. Yep, 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 yep. It seems to be locked. Different dining room? More cola? What's happening? There it is again. I get a bad feeling from this area. Well, too damn bad, bro. Won't open. Oh, shit. Sieve on the counter. Nothing's happening. Why is this place in fucking shambles, dude? Unlock the inside lock. Oh, I'm here. Okay, okay, big, big. Might be puzzle time? We still got a little bit of exploring. Okay. All right, well, I, I feel so bad because I'm like kind of clueless. Where am I supposed to go? Oh, 
Oh, there's stuff in here. Security box. It has a dial. Hey, yo. How many times are you going to look, you little perv? Th that's not... <laughs> oh, my God. Huh? I just did it as a joke. Five, five, three, four. Well, that was simple, dude. Oh, solve the not. That's not even a puzzle. That's just dirty, dude. That's just dirty. What was it? Five, five, seven, three. Five, five, three, four. Whoops. Five, five, three, four. Smash. Got a black notebook. Uh, oh, is this what Keith wants? Maybe this is the notebook Ed wanted. In that case, I shouldn't take a look inside. I'll hand it over if I see him. Oh, sorry, it was over Ed. Okay. Yeah, I was totally checking for the password. I, I definitely knew there was a password in there. A hundred percent. Hundred percent. Do we go looking for the guy now? Is that what we're supposed to do? Won't open. Drop to lower floor. All right, sure. Huh. Um, hmm. Where am I supposed to go? That was like the highest floor, right? Maybe I can go higher. Maybe I can go higher. One, one second. Maybe we can get much higher. Oh, Pop, are you nearby? Let's make a new save. Oh, there he is. Pop! Wait, where'd Sophie go? Thank goodness, I finally caught you. Don't go anywhere anymore, Pop. I'm hopeless without you. What are you doing? Sophie, th thanks for all your help. Now I've finally caught up to Pop. Uh, huh? Pop, say hi. This is Sophie. Ah! <laughs> she doesn't like rats. Well, that's uh, that's a reasonable response. Yeah, I like to rat ratatouille him. I like to put him in my hair. Really get him pulling on my hairs. Why are you carrying that rat? D don't tell me your friend was. This is Pop. He's my friend. I've been looking all over for him. <laughs> Shoves it in her face. No! Keep it away from me! That's disgusting! Pop? Wait! You, you, you're friends with that rat? You gotta be joking! Those things are so gross. Not to mention... Uh... Um, look, I didn't mean... I, I just thought it was a human friend, you know, so... Er, uh, your friend's pretty cute, huh? I, I don't really care for rats myself, but... I hate you. Go. Just go! Get out of here! Why bother showing concern for a kid who's friends with a gross rat, right? But you need to go, too. That's what I was going to do, but I'm sure as hell not going with you anymore. Oh, sorry, Will. Oh, that's just sad, dude. <laughs> what? What? Murdoch? What? What the fuck was that? Did I miss something? Chat? Did I... Chat? 
Did I? Murdoch? What is happening? Will, why did you throw a ball at Mitch? It wasn't me. Captain Murdoch did it. Captain Murdoch? Oh, here we go again. <laughs> here we go again. <laughs> and tell me, where exactly is he right now? He was with me earlier, but he ran when you came, teacher. Will, what do I always say? No one likes a liar. As punishment, you'll have no recess. Understood? Damn! What the hell? Teacher got mad at me because of you. <laughs> what? <laughs> Fucking ghost? It's not my fault, Will. I was doing it for you. Arr. Why do you keep messing with me? I wanted to be Mitch's friend. But Mitch treats you like a dummy. He's always smirking around you. Am I wrong? Maybe you're right, but I... Listen, Will. Ain't no reason to be friendly with people who don't understand you. Not Mitch, not the others, not Teacher. Good friends gotta have understanding. Nobody out of this bunch knows a thing about you. They wouldn't even try to know. Arr. Everybody calls you weird. But you know that's not true. They're the weird ones. They're dummies who don't know the things you know. You'd be better off on your own than trying to befriend the likes of them, don't you think? Does that mean... What? Ain't nothing to worry about, because you've got us. Arr. We're the only ones who can understand you, ain't that right? What does that mean? Are you guys my friends? Of course we are! Nothing lonely about it, eh, Will? You've got lots of friends. Murdoch, he always pulled pranks and pushed my friends away. Why was he with Sophie? I I said something terrible to Sophie, even though she'd be help she's been helping me look for Pop. Because she was going to reject me, I did something cruel and pushed her away, just like Murdoch used to do. Sophie! I guess we'll go after Sophie? Sophie! What? Um, I'm sorry that I shouted at you. I'm really grateful you helped me look for Pop, but you hate rats, right? I can handle this, the rest myself. A and I swear I'll go back to David, so please don't say anything to him. Will you really be okay on your own? Yeah, I guess so. I won't tell David you're here. I'll wait for a while, and if you haven't come to David's, then I'll come pick you up. Then we'll look for Pop together, okay? Bye, Pook Pookie Bear. Have a good one. I think we're going to wrap up soon, just because uh, I know it's going to be really long if I tried to finish this game in one video. So I was making sure I put it into two. So this time we'll stop soon. I think this is a good stopping point, too. Promise me you won't do anything dangerous. Pinky promise? Got it. I promise. Okay. Be careful. Okay. That was kind of wholesome. Kind of sweet. Oh. Uh, okay. Did we even explore this room? Huh? It's open now. Oh, okay, cool. Oh, hey. Ed? What are you doing here? I thought you were way over in the other building. Uh, uh, su surprised? I know all su sorts of secret routes here. Because I used to explore all the time. Oh, you're a fucking ghost. <laughs> you're a ghost. Okay. All right. You're a ghost. Fun fact in the USA, pinky promises are legally binding. Uh, in the US, even something as simple as like a, a verbal a verbal contract is legally binding. 
Like, you can, like, there was a guy, there was, like, a guy who, like, did a, uh, a, a rock, paper, scissors, like, off with another guy, and it was purely a verbal agreement that they would, whoever won would, like, give their house over, and then the guy lost and didn't want to give his house over, and the other guy sued him, and it, it, it went, like, they, 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 I don't think he had to give his house, but he had to give, like, a lot of money to the other guy, because it was, like, they verbally agreed to it. That's just fucking nuts to me. Is this the one, Ed? You found it. Oh, thank you. Is that a note? Is that notebook yours? D no, it belongs to someone I knew. He showed me it a long time ago. I'm glad it was st still around. A long time ago? F 15 years back. I lived here for about a y year. Damn. Um, I heard that after it shut down as a mental hospital, this was a homeless shelter. That's right. I'm homeless. <laughs> my, m my father drank a little too much, so he couldn't do good work and was r really poor, and my mom was dead, so... Then a p p priest at the church told us there was a place where p poor people could stay for free and invited us here. M Mr. George, who gave me this notebook, lived here. He gave me a photo, too. But I'll probably never get that back. This is a big place. Seems like it'd be hard to live in. S sort of. It was really cold in winter. But, but, well, we all came together and helped each other. So it was really great. You don't look too happy. You don't look too, too happy, Will. Did something happen? I I got separated from Pop again. Also, there was a girl helping me look for Pop, but I said some mean things and drove her off. Y you better apologize later, then. Even if I did apologize, I'm sure she wouldn't forgive an asshole like me. You sh shouldn't say bad words like that. N not to yourself or to other people. It's okay. I I'm sh sure she'll forgive you. You're a good kid. Uh, I'll be going now. I'm still looking for something. Um, if it's okay with you, would you come with me? I'm feeling kind of discouraged being alone. S sorry, Will. I'm in so sort of a hurry. There's something I n need to do. This notebook you gave me has the method. I, I can finally make some progress. If you find your t talking rat, I want to see. I really like rats. <laughs> okay, I got it. Ed, do you know about the happy murders? You lived here 15 years ago, right? Yeah, I committed one. <laughs> yeah, I committed a few of those. Y yeah, I was there. L lots of police came. It was a big thing. And then we c couldn't live here anymore. Sag. That must have been scary. Five people suddenly being murdered? <laughs> scary? I love doing it. <laughs> it. It was just natural. A after all, we were really unhappy. Huh? Wait, that's kind of concerning. B bye now, Will. Wait, he wait, he's the, is he actually the murder? Is he actually the murderer too? What? Excuse me, sir. He didn't take his lantern. Oh, this is the elevator and transport elevator. There are boards on the bars fixed with screws. Wait, wait, wait. Screwdriver. Nice. Jesus. Oh my god. I don't think this is working. Oh god. Did I just jump? Oh no. Wait, up or down? Up. Iron gate won't open. Where am I climbing? Well, no, we're up. I guess we'll go down. This is creepy though. Ooh, I don't like that sound. Oh, this, is that the elevator? Go inside. Door's firmly shut. Okay, then. Good, this door is open. Where the fuck am I? Okay, you know what, actually? Okay, you know what? We're gonna stop there. We're gonna stop there. Everybody. Wanna stop there, everybody?
We're gonna continue the rest next time we play, okay, chat? We're gonna continue the rest the next time we play, okay? Thanks for watching. I think we're gonna try to get all endings on this one. I'm gonna try. Emphasis on try. It's gonna be kind of hard. But anyways, thanks for watching. If you're enjoying the video, leave a like, and please subscribe to the channel if you want to see the rest of The Hanged Man. Uh, and if you haven't seen it already, the rest of the Strange Man series, maybe you're watching this kind of out of order, we've got this, uh, the Crooked Man, the Sandman, and the Boogeyman, all of which are really good RPG maker horror games, some of them more horror than the other. A Sandman is like the least horror of them, but it's got a really good story in my opinion. Uh, it explains the backstories of Sophie, uh, David, Keith, what they did, why they know each other. Uh, what happened to them in each of their own individual games. I think it's really cool that it's like a culmination point here. Um, yeah, I'm really excited to play the rest of this, see the culmination of all four games put together, you know, kind of thing. Um, but yeah, if you're new, check them out for sure. And uh, yeah, you'll like the channel. We also play a lot of visual novels, horror games, indie games, variety of stuff, okay? So anyways, thanks. Um, this has been Clock. Have a good one, okay? Oh, and thanks to all my current subscribers. Recently hit 8K subscribers. Freaking amazing. I never thought we would make it past like 10 subscribers. It's really cool. So, yeah. Thanks. Have a good one, guys. Peace.